because I had trouble to figure out what I would have done with my life. Crisis and uh, lack of money, lack of resources. Not just Olympian athletes or athletes in general need a coach, everybody does. So, I'm right here, and it's my great pleasure and honor to be with Sara Balasso. Sara comes from Italy, and she's a life coach. And thank you so, so, so very much for coming to my podcast, Good Stories, because they are good stories, actually, with each and every one of you. So, this is like a mini series that we're doing the break series. And I'm very happy to be introducing actually a life coach in this podcast because I think it's like one of the things that have helped me so much in my own personal journey and in my life and I want to know more about how you work with people and what you do actually and what brought you actually to life coaching so too many questions but yeah. you can start from wherever you want <laughs> yeah to. thank you first of all thank you so much for inviting me here so it's a pleasure um okay from where I started uh, actually, I think that the thought came to my mind when I was um, being a scout chief because I've worked a lot with youths and uh, being there to see their growth was something that inspired me a lot. But also, I would have needed the same um, person, like a coach, to guide me during that period of time, let's say around from 18 to 25, I think, mm -hmm. mainly, because I had trouble to figure out what I would have done with my life, not just the studies, because I knew what I liked and I just decided. I, I graduated in languages and literatures at a university um, in Venice, but um, I went there because I knew that I loved uh, uh, texts, understanding people from what they wrote and uh, understanding human beings from what they produce creatively. But And I also love writing by myself. Uh, so it is uh, something that I'm really working on. But um, I think that in that period of life, uh, uh, every possibility is still present, but we don't always have the instruments and the tools to get there. <laughs> and the guidance. The guidance mainly, yeah. The guidance. Yeah. Basically, what they tell us is that, you know what, you come from one sort of environment, you study something, and this is what you're going to become in your whole life. Nobody has actually told you that you evolved, that yeah. you're not the same person as you walk Precisely. down the path of life. And may I say that I find this admirable, the fact that you have managed to combine actually literature, words basically with life coaching and with guidance. And this is like so necessary actually in life. Mm -hmm. I've been, you know, coached actually in life to arrive mm -hmm. at the place where I am mm -hmm. now. So I think it's like, you know, like not just Olympian athletes yeah. or athletes in general yeah. need a coach. Everybody does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're talking about something interior, like not just, you know, actual training, because yes. coaching starts from your uniqueness and from your self development and your awareness about yourself. So the first part of um, each kind of coaching program uh, should focus on that. Mm -hmm. And then you go on by planning goals and how to achieve them by you know, uh, you prepare your action plan with, through the guidance, of course, of the coach. So it is for you and not for everyone. I mean, not in the same uh, kind. Yes, because you mold it according to the needs of the person. So you yes. basically start by, um, let's say, strengthening the core, yeah. the inner core of the person. So like, just explain to me, like the process that coaching mm -hmm. works for people so that, you know, more people can actually relate to it or understand it. Yeah. Uh, so we start basically from uh, kind of a brainstorming of uh, what you are, what you like, what makes you feel good. And then we structure, you know, the... Um, uh, this kind of uh, thinking about your autonomy, your competencies and uh, your desires and needs, etc., 
But in particular, I work with the youth and with creative people and with creative young adults in particular, yeah. Um, because I think that in that niche, there is uh, a great need for guidance because, you know, art is uh, uh, somehow considered a bit uh, like a, a job that is not always really a job or something that is your hobby and that kind of stuff. And in Italy, I feel like a lot of people uh, live uh, with this kind of thinking, but there are people oh, who... Oh, trust me, in every country. <laughs> Good. <laughs> just in... Good to know. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm just uh, talking about where I have some field of research. Yes. Let's just say that, but I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. No. Greece is like the same thing, unless you're a teacher, a lawyer, a public uh, servant or a doctor, you're basically yeah. following your hobby. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And uh, especially young adults, they have their parents there, millennial especially, because, you know, crisis and uh, lack of money, lack of resources. You are still there at home with your parents and you uh, pursue your hobbies again, not just, you know, when do you get an actual work, an actual job, etc. Yeah, exactly. But no, I don't believe in that. <laughs> so I really want to uh, help people with that, mm, guide people with that, because it is important for me too. I mean, it's not something that comes out of the blue. It is important for everyone. I want to make mm. a connection right here, because this is like your, your field of expertise and your work. For example, most people start doing therapy, yes. let's say. Okay. Yeah. So how is life coaching actually different from therapy? Yeah. Uh, therapy focuses mostly on your past, on your wounds and uh, your emotional responses, your kind of behavior in that sense, while uh, coaching is more action oriented. So you start from the analysis of who you are and your potential and your uniqueness, etc. But it doesn't uh, mm, work toward the direction of healing yourself, but focusing on the present to go to the future. I am, of course, very supportive of therapy. It is very important. I'm one of those people who think that everyone should go to therapy. By all course. means. Yeah. Yes. But they can coexist, you know. Something is, uh, you know, therapy is more uh, past-oriented than present-oriented, while uh, coaching is more focused on your goals and your objectives and your desires, so establishing the life you want. But they are intertwined. So yeah. if in a certain moment of your life, you feel that the need that um, you have to heal your wounds or to understand better your, yourself in that sense, you can go to therapy. But when you have the desire to, you know, find the resources, create your action plan, have a guidance because everything seems a mess and you don't know where do you want to go or what do you really want, but you just feel that you're unsatisfied yes. with your life. Okay. You can go to a coach. I think that you can also have, and correct me if I'm wrong, you can have like a pretty holistic approach. You can yeah. have a therapist and you can have a life coach and you can kind of like detangle yeah. things more easily and probably like more quickly yeah. also, yeah. which is like very, very important. Thank you very, very thank much. You. Thank you so thank much you, for being Antiga. part of this community. And thank you so much for sharing your skills. And I cannot wait for you yeah. actually to put them out thank there in you. the whole world, actually in the whole universe, to be able for each and every one of us to reach out because we really, really, really need you more than you can even imagine. I'm so <laughs> glad about that. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this and of this adventure. Thanks for listening. New episodes coming out every Wednesday. Subscribe and never miss the good stories.